welcome to tech support with Tony. I am Tony and I'm the lead tech support agent for Brayburn Systems. We are the manufacturer of thermostats for the Brayburn and Prostat brands. And today I'm going to address an issue that pertains to the Wi-Fi model 7205 and the Prostat model. The issue we get a lot in the call center is a caller stating that I got new internet service or I changed my Wi-Fi router and I could no longer connect the thermostat to my new Wi-Fi network. Anytime you get a new Wi-Fi service or new Wi-Fi router or change your Wi-Fi network in any way, it's going to be necessary to clear the thermostat of the previous Wi-Fi network connection. There's a very specific way to, get, to do this. This is going to apply to both the Brayburn 7205 and the Prostat PRS 7325WF. This thermostat here, in our example, has had the network change and you'll see that the Wi-Fi network is blinking, indicating that it is no longer connected to the Wi-Fi network. It's actually looking for the old network. But we're going to need to clear that before we can try to connect to our new network. In order to clear it, we're going to press the return button and hold it for a few seconds until you see the screen change. As you can see here, it shows long it may also show the word off, but once you get into that menu, you're going to press the program button once or twice until you see the word Wi-Fi appear. Then use your arrow key to add the letters CL. Once you see the Wi-Fi CL for clear, then you can press the return button and that will clear that Wi-Fi symbol from the screen meaning that we've now cleared the previous network. It will be necessary after this to power cycle the thermostat. So you're going to want to take it off of the wall, and if it has any batteries installed, you're going to remove those. And you're going to wait for the display screen to go blank. Once it has gone blank, I recommend leaving it blank for about 10 minutes before you replace your batteries and then put it back on the wall base. Once you've got it back on the wall base, you will be able to perform the connection procedure, which I will have detailed in the video description below.